and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all super well. I thought I would film a how I edit my Instagram photos video because I feel like I filmed one like a year or two ago, but I've changed how I edit my photos. So yeah, I thought I'd film this video for you guys today. I have had a couple of requests for it. So yeah, this is what I'm going to be talking about today. I, I've got a friend with me. Big boy sleeping, aren't you? Hey, good boy. So I thought I'd just leave him there whilst I film because he looks super comfy and cosy. So yeah, if there's any snoring that you can hear or anything like that, it's him. Excuse him. He's having a little sleep. Bless him. Right, editing Instagram photos. Now, I've gone through so many different apps before and yeah, I feel like I finally found my favourite ones and my go-tos. I have introduced a new one recently, um, but yeah, my photos actually go through quite a few different apps to get the finished look that I'm happy with to post on Instagram. So I've got three photos that I'm gonna be editing for you guys today. I've got one from me in Ibiza, one beauty shot which hasn't actually been shot on a ring light, just been shot in natural light, but I thought I'd do a beauty shot just to show you guys how I edit like my makeup photos. And then I have got a photo that's been taken on flash inside and it looks a little bit dark. So I'm gonna show you guys how to just, how I add a bit more vibrancy, color, and yeah, boldness to my pictures. So yeah, I'm screen recording my phone so I can go through it and I will pop my screen, my screen on the screen, my phone screen on the screen, um, so you guys can see what I'm doing, but yeah. First off, I always put my photos through Facetune. Now, I know there's been a lot of issues around Facetune, but for beauty shots, like, you just need it. The detail part of this app, oh my God, like, it just makes your makeup pop. So I'm gonna start with a makeup photo. So let's put this photo in there. Okay, cool. So first off, I do use the smoothing tool. I have it on the lowest smoothing bit and I basically zoom in and I just tidy up like anywhere where my makeup's kind of gone in my creases. And yeah, basically just a little bit under my eyes and then tends to be around the sides of my mouth if I'm honest. Um, so yeah, so I do that first. And when I feel happy with that, I save that. Next step, I then go in with, sometimes the whitening tool, like sometimes my eyes look a bit dull, so I just whiten the white parts of my eyes. It just makes them pop, and I save that. Then I go in with the details. Now, I love this. Like, if you're wearing metallic makeup or you've got a highlight on, and it just looks a bit flat in the photo, if you just add a little bit of detail, honestly, like it changes it so much. So I've got metallic eyeshadow on in this photo. So I'm just gonna color over the lid of my eye and already look at that difference in the metallic, it just pops. And then I've got a little bit of highlight on my brow bone, which I'll highlight. And then also in the inner corner of my eye, again, like it just makes it pop. And then when you zoom out, look at that. Sometimes I do my eyelashes as well, and my eyeliner, and then I'll just like literally kind of highlight the parts of my face where I've got highlight on basically. And I do the other eye, the inner corner, and then my highlight on my cheeks isn't really showing here, but like I'm just gonna dab my finger over it a little bit. And then also gloss. So gloss is a great one to highlight. Highlight those bits that are white, because that's where the gloss is like shining and the light is bouncing off. And it just makes it look a little bit glossier. So yeah, like it's just such a slight difference, but it makes your makeup pop and it looks amazing. Sometimes I also like to add detail in of like my accessories. So like my earrings, I might do and then any jewellery, but yeah, that's basically mainly what I do to my beauty photos. So I feel like I'm happy with that. 
So I will say that's my camera roll. I leave that up and I go into Lightroom. Lightroom, wow. I had never used Lightroom before. It's a little bit like Photoshop. Oh, I've got an old photo in there. But yeah, never ever used it before. And then I've been seeing on Instagram lots of people use um, presets. And I was like, oh, this is interesting. And I've seen people's before and afters of presets and I was like, wow. So I did a little bit of research. I started saving loads and loads of different preset ideas down from Instagram pages. And then I was looking into the pricing of them and some of them were quite pricey. So I thought, hang on a minute, what about Etsy? Because Etsy always does stuff like that. So I went on Etsy and wow, I found so many presets for five pounds. And in each pack, you'd get like, five different presets or you'd get one like theme of a preset and there'd be different options like some of the presets are like uh, a name and then bright a name and then dark a name and then contrast or something like that so yeah I went on there and I, but the only downside is with a preset obviously a lot of the time they're tested on like unreal photos in Bali or the Maldives which isn't your everyday average photo in the UK um, so it was a bit of trial and error. I just downloaded and bought loads I liked. There was one amazing pack which I will link below because it literally had, I can't even remember how many presets it had, but it had like 60 different presets. It was amazing. I can't remember the price, but I feel like it was £30. But yeah, I'll pop all the information below so you can check it all out. Um, and it was amazing. And then I just sat through, because I, I was actually in Ibiza at the time, so I had some really nice, like, colourful, bold, like, holiday photos. And I was sitting through and I was going through it all. And then I realised that there was, like, one or two that I really liked. And one of them is called Barley. I love that preset. There's just something about it. It makes me um, look kind of, it makes me look, like, glowing. I've got a bit of colour to my skin. And, yeah, I just really love how it makes my hair pop and stuff so yeah i'm going to show you uh, sometimes it works though and sometimes it doesn't work so we'll just test it on this photo and we'll see and if it doesn't work then i'll show you what i do if it doesn't work basically so when you do your presets when you download it from etsy it also has like a little manual guide on how to put the presets on your phone and stuff which is super helpful um yeah so presets is on the end so i click in presets and literally these are all my presets and you've got like a little template next to the name on how it's going to look basically and some of them are like quite extreme um and that is the only thing about lightroom i find that if it is a bit extreme you can't like lower it like you can with some other apps but you then go into all the settings and then just adjust the settings so basically yeah so here are a couple but yeah barley is my favorite I love Barley Bright, like the before and after of Barley Bright, I just love it. It's just, yeah. I just love it. It's so nice. It looks a little bit intense on this picture. I feel like it, it's just working, but yeah. But after I've done a preset, I'll then go um, into all the settings and I just adjust them. Um, and I start off with light. So highlights is always quite low in the barley mode um, you can adjust shadow you can adjust the whiteness and yeah I just sit for a couple of minutes and just adjust basically what I want to adjust then I go into color and I click on the mix and I can basically alter colors so this has been altered quite a lot actually um, I love luminance, it just brightens bits up. Also luminance, I love it because on my skin, it just makes it look a bit more kind of, I don't know, it's just got a bit more colour to it, the yellow. So some of these don't really affect that much, um, but sometimes it does. And yeah, I just sit through, just have a little play. That pink's probably going to do something to my hair. Sometimes it doesn't really do much, but yeah, you can fiddle with it until you get the desired effect that you like. Temperature, I always 
do you know what I used to make my photos so cold um, and put more blues into it I think maybe because I have blue hair but now I love really warm photos so yeah I tend to put the temperature up a little bit and I also like more of a pink tint than a green vibrancy we can mess around with that saturation um, effects clarity is always a good one to do I feel like in this though it doesn't need too much clarity oh just to haze it let's get that back so yeah that is what the photo was before that is it afterwards insane it's brightened it up the colors are more vibrant you can really see the makeup I feel like my skin looks like a really nice color my hair looks great like before it was just so dull and now I'm like oh yeah and that makeup is popping so yeah happy with that click the tick oops where's it gone here we go and I export that to my camera roll okay then there's a new app that I've done, downloaded recently that I love called Tezza and I don't know whether you guys follow that girl on Instagram but she is unreal her photography is just amazing her editing I just love it and like She's one person I look at just for a bit of inspo for creativity and stuff. So I always put my pictures into Tezza. And I love this because there's loads and loads of different presets on this actually. Um, I do think I pay monthly for this app and I can't remember how much. But obviously I'll link it below and you can do your research if you're interested. But yeah, there's loads of presets on this. Some of them are amazing, some of them not so much, but I guess it does depend on where you are, what type of shot it is, I've got a lovely black and white one. But yeah, so I don't tend to use the filters that much, but if you do want to use one, if you do, like click on it again, you can alter it. So like, that's quite nice, adding in a bit more warmth to the picture. So yeah, you can filter it and adjust kind of how much of the filter goes onto your picture. And then the middle one here, again, you've got exposure, contrast, shadows, highlights, grain. I love a little bit of grain, I'm not gonna lie. And again, you can adjust all the settings. I tend to put them down quite a lot, but I do like just a little bit of grain. I feel like it, I don't know, just add something to the picture. And then, I kind of leave all of the settings, to be honest, I just tend to maybe add a tiny bit of a filter in, and then use the grain. And then sometimes I like to add a little bit of dust. You can add dust in black or white. You can add in as much dust as you want. We've got some that are just like really intense, but probably would look really cool on a travel picture. You've got some that are a bit more of like a fade. Um, yeah, I like a little bit of dust sometimes, but I feel like with this, it doesn't need it. So I've just added a little bit of grain and I've added a touch of a bit of a filter. And yeah, I mean, there's not that much of a difference, but for me, I can see it and I just really like it. And what I also love about this app as well, if you've got a couple of photos that are similar and you're doing like a carousel on Instagram, you can copy the edit and then you can paste it to another photo, which is great. So yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna save that. And that photo, oh, this one, this photo is done. And here is a before and after. Love it. So that's how I edit some of my beauty shots. Let's move on to this photo here, which is quite dark, it's dull. Um, I'm gonna show you how I get that to be a bit brighter. Now, I don't really need to take that into Facetune, but I will because I feel like I've got some accessories that I would like to kind of just make pop. So I go into details, I colour just over the dress, um, my necklace, my jewellery, my makeup again, my lips, a little bit of highlight there, my braids on my hair, and then I just kind of quickly just run my finger over the whole background and you can just see a slight difference in the before and after there and uh, that's basically all I do so let's save that to camera roll get out go into Lightroom and let's get that picture up 
straight to presets. Right, Barley Babe, Barley Bright, Barley Brightest. Look at the before and after. Ooh, love it. So we're gonna tick. We're gonna tick that. We're gonna keep that. I'm gonna go into light. Now it is a bit dark, so I'm just gonna add in a bit more highlight. It's making my dress pop now, which is amazing, especially against that background. Add in a tiny bit more white. Shadows, I'm gonna lift up to plus 100. And I'm gonna go into color now. I'm gonna go into the orange and luminance. I can just adjust that. I'm just gonna put it a little bit lower because my face looks a bit too white. Um, and I'm gonna go into the yellow and we can adjust that accordingly. Red, again, we can adjust. I'm gonna take that back in the middle because it looks a bit more pinky then. Yeah, just play around with it really. Um, vibrancy, I'm gonna turn down. I don't think it needs to be any more vibrant than it is. That's a before, that's the after. The background is popping, it's bold, it's colorful. You can see my outfit a lot better. Yeah, I love it. Save that. Let's export that. Take it into Tezzer. Let's pop that picture in. And then, yeah, I mean, we can go through the filters and see if I like the look of any. That one was quite nice. If I just add in a little bit of it. It's quite nice. Um, and then grain. Let's add in just a little bit of grain. Love. And then I feel like a little bit of dust on this would be cute. Maybe in white or black. Maybe black. Love it. And then we save that. And then this is the before and after. So yeah, you can see that by just using some presets and just altering them a little bit, you can make a photo that looks a bit dull, look unreal. Like, presets are the way forward of a changed woman. Right, final picture now. Let's do an IB3 one. I mean, I look a bit dull in this photo because it's backlit. So let's sort this out. First of all, face tune. Let's... I've got a lot going on here with the outfit, but let's add in a little bit of detail to my outfit, my earrings, my sunglasses. Now, I mean, Ibiza, it's sweaty. I am gonna smooth out just around the corners of my lips. Yeah, I mean, let's add a bit of detail to the back as well, some of these boats in the sea. Let's bring a bit of detail in. Fab. That's done, let's export it. Take it into Lightroom. Right, we're in Lightroom. Let's go to my presets. Barley Bay. Ooh. Barley Bright. Oh yeah, I feel like that Barley Bright is gonna be too bright. That is the one. Look at the before, look at the after. I am popping. Like, I am in the foreground. I need to be like the brightest, the most contrast. You know, like I need to be in the center. So, wow. Okay, love this barley filter. Um, I'm gonna go, I feel like I'm happy with that. It's just lifting those shadows up. I'm gonna go into color though, because I feel like the blue, yeah, there we go, look at that, luminance. Let's take that down a little bit. I'm gonna bring in some of the color in the background. I mean that, yeah, that looks kinda cool. Could go proper layer. Oh my god, purple C. Right, we're gonna take that back in the middle. Love this. Also, I feel like the image is a little bit tilted, so I'm just gonna straighten it up so the horizon is straight in the background. Much better. Um, I mean I'm pretty happy with that, so I'm gonna export that now. And I'm gonna take that into Tezza. So let's open it up. 
and then we can go through oh i like that actually just a little bit of it maybe that's nice so yeah gone through some of the filters although um no i don't want that Ooh, actually that was quite cool right i'm gonna go with that one and then add a bit of grain again just lower all the settings for that and then dust do you want dust Ooh. you can also adjust the angle of the dust as well and like what direction it's going in i feel like white dust is better maybe just a little bit of it cute and that's it another before and after wow like it's just ridiculous wow looks so good so good so yeah guys that is how i edit my instagram photos i'll put links below to all of the apps to all of the presets uh, just so you guys know what i'm using and can have a little bit of a research and look into it if you're interested um, but yeah that's how i edit my instagram photos really hope this was informative for you guys and helpful and you've got a little sneaky peek into my editing um but yeah thanks so much for watching guys and i'll see you in another video very soon